So anyway, right now, uh, we're now going to learn how to just to make our mind really peaceful using the mindfulness and kindness. So if you'd like to get yourselves comfortable, And when you are, you think you're comfortable, try a little bit more awareness and kindness. Because it does take awareness on all the different parts of your body to check them first of all. You know, some parts of the body you think are not really a problem, but it's still worthwhile looking at them, being aware of them and being kind to them. And as I think I mentioned even last week, when I first went to Thailand in the forest monasteries where we hardly wore any shoes or even sandals were were so um, wrecked after a while that we just used to walk barefoot. I was cutting my feet you know, on the roots or stubbing the toes on the rocks. And not just me, but all the other Western monks. And Ajahn Chah noticed this and said, you Westerners have got stupid feet. <laughs> A nice way of putting it because our awareness was in our head, sometimes in our hands, often in our mouth, but never really on just things which we're using all the time, like our feet. And once we learn how to be mindful, aware of where we're putting our feet, then of course they get wounded much less. We started caring for them. That's what I do at the beginning of every meditation become aware of my feet, so they're not stupid anymore. So I've got very smart feet now. I don't know about the rest of me, but my feet are smart. Very rarely do they get wounded. And I enjoy the exercise of just connecting my brain to my feet. And then once that connection is made, along that channel, I send kindness. By just loosening everything, so I'm not holding anything tight. I'm not sort of afraid and thereby squashing my feet or reacting and drawing them in. I'm just letting them become really loose and at ease. If I do need to move anything, I will. If I need to scratch anything, I will. That's what my feet need, they get it. That degree of kindness. And then when I do that, sometimes I check myself, Ajahn Brahm, are you just imagining this? Or do your feet actually start to relax more? Because I've been doing this for so many years, they actually do relax more. They tend to sort of open, just kind of open up. They're not squashed or stretched or restricted. Sometimes it's like they're just resting on the softest of cotton cushions. Like they've been soaked in warm water after walking a long way on a cold day. They ease off. And it's a pleasant feeling just to relax something you thought was not so important like your feet. Once they do relax, they feel great. Now move the attention up to the ankles. Make sure they're fine. Now don't move further until I can feel those ankles. I've made that contact and I can send the kindness and everything relaxes. This is an important preliminary exercise of mindfulness and kindness because the ability to relax parts of my body increases as I go up the body, up the lower legs, the calves, 
to heal them. Strangely, my right calf muscles were tense a moment ago. Don't know why, but when you focus on that, you can relax so easily. Of course, you can't relax anything if you've got no awareness of it. Aware first, kindness comes next, and the whole lower legs feel so at ease. To the knees. My knees feel pretty comfortable today, so I'll pass over them quickly, just making sure everything is relaxed. To the thighs. There are times when you, you do a long walk or something and the thighs feel a bit tired. But today I haven't done much walking, so they feel really at ease. And then relax the ears, so the sound of a motorbike can just come in and not affect you. Then go back down to the thighs, then to the butt, the bottom. Because I sit on the floor, on this time on a cushion so often, I have to really be careful that I put my butt in a comfortable position so it doesn't ache later on. And all the time, the awareness allows me to get feedback. I'm aware now, and I'm aware of what happens next. Is my butt relaxing? It actually is. I can feel it. Then I go to my waist. My waist feels good when my back is straight. That's just me. But how can you get your waist to feel at ease, comfortable? And I just quickly go up my back <coughs> so all the muscles in the back are all straight, balanced, comfortable. I'm actually aware of the feelings in the back. I'm making sure they're all okay and doing some more relaxation, more adjustments if I need to. And you go to the base of the torso. I usually go up my digestive tract next. It's weird, but there's a lot of monks and nuns have problems with their digestion. I just feel, feel my digestive tract and relax things. Relax these muscles in my colon and intestine. So I go up in the body. It's not a hard thing to do. It makes me feel good. My body inside becomes relaxed. Go up to my stomach. That feels okay today. To my lungs. I don't force anything. I try to keep everything as at ease as possible. Anything which is tight, I just imagine two ends of that muscle which is tight, as if it's being pulled apart. And I let go at both ends. So it's not stretched at all. And my lungs not being stretched. My heart, my chest not being stretched. And all the organs in the back, feeling them at ease. 
as if all those organs in the back are floating in nice warm salty water, not cold, not hot, not having to squash up or to expand, just being totally at ease. I get to my shoulders and make sure there's no sense of tension in the shoulders. Please imagine tension like a string being pulled apart. And of course, when they say a guitar string is stretched, someone hits that guitar string, bing, it makes a sound. But when it's totally loose, something hits that guitar string and it's no sound at all. It's resilient. I imagine my shoulder muscles made up of so many strings and when they're pulled apart they're liable to get pain. When they're loose, relax, they're at ease. I go down my arms. So I can feel my upper arms now. My brain has made contact with them making sure they're all in a good position and comfortable. And that's kindness. Check the elbows. So just imagine they're just soaking in warm water just to relax. My elbows. And they're going past the elbows, the forearms, the wrists and the hands. And I notice my hands now. I make the same mistake every time. So at this point, I change the position of my hands. Usually put my left palm on top of the right palm. Sorry, the other way around. My right palm on top of the left palm. With the thumb slightly touching. It just feels good, to me anyway and check that all the fingers are happy down there. You'll find that when you develop that deliberate development of comfort and happiness, the mind doesn't want to wander away anywhere. It likes being here because it's pleasant being here, relaxing your own body. And you also learn if there's any pain or ache anywhere, you can just focus on that ache or pain with your mindfulness, give it kindness, the combination being called kindfulness, and that tends to relax everything. And it finds you can develop your own relaxation and happiness of your body. It heals so many things. When I go up to the neck, making sure the head is well balanced on top of the neck. There's no tight pieces of clothing around the neck. And I learn how to relax my own neck. How on earth do you do that? You make contact with your neck and just flood it with kindness. And the feedback which I get, tells me that the neck is actually relaxing. I go to the front of my face, the head, and there I can feel the muscles. What I do first of all, feel the muscles around the forehead, around the eyes, around the nose and the mouth. Making sure all of those are relaxed to the max. As I'm teaching this, I'm actually doing it. If I'm going too fast, I apologize, but 
This is what works for me. My whole face now is at ease. And with it, my whole body. And now I just include the whole of the body. Everything I can feel in the body is included. And it's relaxed, at ease. And I hope that you manage to do this as well. After a minute or two of being aware of a relaxed body, a kind of pleasure arises. The pleasure, the delight of relaxation. My whole body feels at ease. And that takes the relaxation deeper every time. When my body is at ease, then I can relax my mind. The mind is sometimes stretched, pulled apart, just like the muscles are stretched between the past and the future, or the present and the future, all those hopes and wishes and wants trying to improve or trying to get rid of things. When you're meditating, please let yourself be. Don't try and improve or go somewhere or get something or get rid of things. Learn how to be here. Opening the door of your heart to who you are and what's happening right now. And when you feel at peace with this moment, you're not trying to change anything, then you can actually be here Pleasantly. If you're not happy here, the mind will always wander off or go to sleep or something. It just tries to escape. When you feel delight in this present moment, the mind can also be silent. And you enjoy the feeling, not the thought, not the plan, not the description, but the activity or the stillness, your bare experience of being relaxed. I'm going to be quiet now, give you about 10 minutes to see where that relaxation and peace leads you. No need to do anything, just learn to be still, to be a passenger, not a driver.
getting close to the end of the meditation now. How relaxed do you feel? How much ease of the body and peace of mind can you feel? When you make peace with this moment, you're not struggling to get away from this or require something else. You can rest in peace while you're still alive. How does that feel? I'm now going to ring the gong three times. When the gong finishes sounding for the third time, please open your eyes to end the meditation. So great. So there's a couple of people outside. If you want to come in, you're most welcome. Anybody inside who wants to escape, <laughs> the doors are open for a quick escape if you want. <laughs>